everyone, it's Misty here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have a very boring update. <laughs> I know, I know. I said that in the last update and it wasn't quite as boring. This one's gonna be like for real boring. So this is my pen matte palette for 2022. I am doing um, the Size Matters, not prompt, theme with the Fantastic Ladies. All of that information will be linked in the description box down below. Amber F created Pan That Palette, but um, the Fantastic Ladies chose Jessica's um, theme, which was Size Matters. And then last month, I brought in not only um, another eye palette or eyeshadow palette that I'm using, but some cream blushes as well. Let's start with the cream blushes. So I brought in two from the um, Makeup Revolution Blush Melts palette. So I had brought in to um, Graveyard a Wet n Wild blush stick. It was orange and my goal was to use it, I don't remember. The cap broke and I didn't want it to go to waste. So what I did was I melted it down with um, the blushes I already was already working on and a couple of other things and have new blushes. So. <laughs> This is the one that I'm working on for Graveyard. This is the one that I'm gonna be working on for here. And this is the one I'm gonna be working on for Partners in Cream. So it's a pretty full um, blush. These are the 36 millimeter pans. So it's pretty big. It made a beautiful color. Like I, oh, it made a beautiful color. And it's a really beautiful formula too. So my goal for this project is gonna to be to finish this pan of blush. So we'll see how far we get and how we do. It is on today, but it's under things. <laughs> it's under a lot of things. So yeah, I am happy with it. And I may end up um, frankening the other shades together and just trying to work on them that way. Um, I have been a mad scientist about everything the last few weeks. So yes. <laughs> Let's talk about the bane of my existence. This is my Size Matter palette. This is the Infatuation palette from Profusion. I'm just trying to hit pan in the mattes and I have not done a very good job. So I am gonna pop up a picture of what it looked like last time and what it's looking like now. I don't have any new pans. I do have a small amount of usage. So Let's talk about that. Okay, starting from left to right with the orange oasis, I used that one more time for a total of two, five, seven, eight times. Um, next, we're gonna go up to the top row in the middle. Personal, I've used one more time since the last update for a total of eight, nine, ten, ten times, ten uses on that, which is so crazy because it barely has a dip. <laughs> And some of these other ones I hit pan on in like five or six uses, so yeah. Um, right below that we have a bouncy. Bouncy I used one time for a total of two, four, five, six, seven, seven uses. And then under that is daring. Daring I've used two, three times since the last update for a total of. Wait, what? Two, five, seven, ten. So a total of ten uses on that. I was like, what? <laughs> All the way over to retro. This is the shade that I cannot get a pan in. What to save my life. So as of the last update, I had used it seven, ten, thirteen times. I've used it three more times for a total of sixteen times. And there's still no flipping pan. I've even been using it with it like a an eyeliner blush, using it a brush, using it as eyeliner. Anytime I wear purple, it's not budging. It's not gonna budge. <laughs> and last but not least, at the top right, we have the shade Shell. And I used that three times since the last update for a total of one, four, six, eight. Eight times. So that's that palette. If I'm giving this one more month, if I don't hit pan, and at least two shades by the next update, I'm gonna call this good and just declutter it. I mean, that's what's gonna happen with it anyway, but I'm just like, I'm over it. Especially this purple. This is like the worst purple of your life. Swatches beautifully, but it's so flippin' patchy. <laughs> it's so patchy. It won't build on itself. You can't get anything else to play with it. So it's like, what are we doing with our life? 
So yeah, so anyway, this may be gone next month. We'll see, I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. I can be very indecisive sometimes. So let's talk this, yay. This is the Red Velvet Cupcake Palette from Glam Light and I've been working on hitting pan. So I initially had pan in this shimmer and this shimmer. I These are my, I'm like, this is very much like a super shock shadow. So when I moved it around, I covered up the pan, but I had pan in those two. But as you can see, I now have pan in this one. This was in my pan that, pan those eyeshadows, that's in confection. So that is now rolling over to this project. And so my goal is to hit pan in the rest of them. So I'm gonna put up a picture um, at the top left, cream cheese, I've used that two times. That's a beautiful color. Um, it goes beautifully over uh, uh, pink. And if you watch the coral look I did in a couple of videos where I was in that kind of lacy shirt and I had the blue, that was somewhere on that eye look. It turned out really, really pretty. Um, I haven't used buttery cake mix. I've used one time since the last update. Um, the next road, cupcake, I've used, wait, what? Oh no, Cake Mix is on the next row. <laughs> cake Mix I've used one time, that's a shimmer. Um, Cupcake Heaven I've used twice. If you saw my kind of dragon look from the other day where I had the green and the purple, that was also on my um, transition area. Red Velvet I have used once. Sweet Cravings I haven't used. That's on the next row. Uh, the next one is in a different, um, different project. Then we have Kisses, which I've used once, and then the, the last shade, which is super moist, I've used four times. So I am getting some use out of it. And like I said, this did have pan. It just kind of, I mean, it's very, very malleable. It just moves, it just moves all around, but it's a gorgeous shade. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So yeah, my goal is to hit pan and everything this year and then next year I really want to try to um, completely pan it all the way. Oh please don't get this everywhere. <laughs> yeah my goal next year is going to be to try to finish it so it'll be a palette that I try to hit pan and everything this year and then next year try to finish. So <laughs> that's it. <laughs> That's it, I told you it was gonna be a little boring. So for my next update, mm, do I have any good dips? I kinda of have a good dip in this one. Maybe we can hit pan in super moist. I'd like to expand the pan in confection. Um, I need to rediscover this pan and maybe I'll have pan in another shimmer, we'll see. Um, this is more, to me, this is more like a wintry, kind of fall winter palette. Um, but I am doing some purple looks. And again, this these two shades together are beautiful with this to deepen up. This looks like a purple, like, well, on my blue finder, it looks really pink. But in person, it looks like a, a fuchsia or a magenta, but it pulls very, very pink. So there's not much purple to it. It looks way more purple in the pan than it does on the eye or on the, um, on the thing. The other two ones that I showed you, those two mattes, unfortunately, when you blend them together, they're basically the same color on the eye, but I've been making it work. And you saw that I hit pan in confection, and that's the that might be one of the first mattes I've ever hit pan in. But yeah, so again, for next month, if I haven't hit pan in at least one more shade in that Profusion palette, I'm just gonna declutter it. Like I, I'm not, I don't wanna torture myself any more than I already have. And I don't want to force myself to reach for something that I just don't enjoy. And that will give me the opportunity to make more progress on the other hundred eyeshadows that I'm working on. <laughs> so, yeah. All that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you. Um, like I said, I have Franken the blushes together. I hope to hit pan in at least one more matte or at least another shade in this palette. And we'll see if I can hit pan in that infatuation palette. Other than that, that's it. I appreciate you. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Make sure you follow the links in the description box down below to find everybody else that's participating with the Fantastic Ladies. You can also search the hashtag SawsMattersPP. And that's it. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you haven't already. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram. I'm at MistyPans. Have a good day, night, weekend, wherever you are. I love your faces, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.